everybody welcome to moto mom's mechanic school just kidding but what i'm really going to be showing you is i'm going to attempt to change the top end on this pw50 i'm going to show you the parts and the tools that you will need so tools we are going to need some sockets a 10 millimeter wrench spark plugs, these little metal things that go into the, the cylinder. I might need them, I might not, but I have them. I only have this half of the top end, the part that I'm going to probably need, the back part here. I don't have one, so hopefully this one is not scored up and then I can use it over again. If it is, then we're gonna have to wait and I'm gonna have to order one. So fingers crossed I don't need one. I have my gasket kit, I have my piston kit, um, what else do you need? You're gonna probably need Mommy. some screwdrivers. Mom. Mommy. Boom. Boom. And, Mom. um, Mommy. that's it. Mom. Also, here at Moto Mom Mechanic School, we have children running around <laughs> all over. So don't mind the background noise. All right, so first thing is the oil. Okay, I can't open that. <laughs> so what we are going to do is change the oil. Super simple. Have some pliers, crack that sucker open, and then we have a 12 millimeter wrench. No, I don't know what this thing's called. 12 <laughs> millimeters, and then you're going to get that going the right way. Crack that. Oh, harder than you think. Okay, there we go. A bucket, and then we drain our oil. Done. All right, so most people wear gloves. I don't wear gloves, because gloves are for sissies. <laughs> Get your hands dirty, people. There it is. Oh, that's some gnarly looking oil. You open this little thing up here, so it breathes a little bit. Drain out, out, out. Not breathe. It's breathe. It's now that the mess is all cleaned up, next we are going to take off the exhaust pipe. We have a couple different areas. We have an 8 millimeter that is going to go here. We have a 12 millimeter here. And then we are going to use our 10 millimeter wrench. Is that called a wrench? Yes. I don't know what these, I think it's a wrench. So up here, you want to come around this side. Underneath here. And on one side, you can put your socket but the other side you can't fit it it just doesn't want to fit on there so i just use the the wrench oh. so i have all of my bolts off take that off slide that out there Whoop. And then this is just going to slide out to like that. So now our exhaust pipe is off and, oh, two. When you take the exhaust pipe off, it's because of the type of stand I have. I just put this on the front tire so it doesn't fall forward because there's nothing holding it up underneath here now. Another tool you're going to need is a 13 16th spark plug socket. I'll take off the, the spark plug here that away take this out before you open it up or it's a pain to touch get it out I've done that before too that's good it's a little dark it is it's a little I don't know a little wet whatever I have a new spark plug I know it's a crappy one I will get a new one and replace it when I have them come in and then oh, here's my tin and now we're going to take off Ooh. Oh, wow. All right, camera skills stick. Okay, four bolts. We're going to take them off. They're a tad bit rusty. This is going to be a little difficult. Mom, look. Mom, look. Mom, look. Mom, look. It's hanging on. Mm hmm. Here, here. Here. I need a dang hammer. Dead blow hammer. <laughs> Okay, got them all loose, take them off. 
So now, the I'm going to take off. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, there's one piece. Oh. Oh, man. oh gosh, I'm trying to show you inside of the, I don't know, I'm looking. All right, so here it is, the piston. Now you want it to come out a little bit, take your kicker and just push it down a little bit till it comes out. And there she is. There is sand all over this thing. So when we were at training the other day, his bike started making like a low pitch humming sound. And we just, I don't know, just thought it was, the top end was going, come to find out, the air box had, it was on the carb, but the, the rubber part that attaches to the air box disconnected from the air box. So he was riding, I don't even know, maybe an hour without the air box connected. So I'd taken apart the carb, I cleaned the carb. The reeds are probably messed up, so I have to see if I can find some reeds, open it up and look at those and see how they are. So what that means is the sand probably got in here. Cause it is definitely, like you can feel it, it's on there. Oh, another tool I forgot we're gonna need is needle nose pliers. There's a pen in here. Take the pan. Kind of just twist the pin out like that. All right, now I'm going to take the pin out on the other side. Put that one out. And then you're just going to push, hopefully, this little guy out. And come out. All right, so this literally probably took like 30 minutes. This was completely stuck in there. So we did that, we hammered. I held as much pressure as I could because I don't wanna mess the crank up, but this, it wasn't coming out. Let me see if I can focus, I'm sorry. There it is. Scored to high heaven, bad. The inside's full of sand. So I used this tool and I was able to clamp it so tight that this is the only one I couldn't get off. I can't even get that off. There we go. These other ones were spinning. See, they're, they're kind of spinning. I could twist them out. I'm going to change them. They're so rusty and I probably bent them up when we were uh, hammering it. This is Moto Titi. We're hey teaching her how to do some work on the bikes because her little man is going to start riding soon. Alright, so just a little FYI, there is a short side and a long side. The short side is what goes into the engine and the long side is not. <laughs> Alright, there is a bearing inside there that comes out too. All right, Moto Mom Mechanic School <laughs> failed yesterday, and um, I wasn't I wasn't able to fix it. So what we are doing today, my husband has to help me. I tried. We are just taking apart the entire thing. Opening it up and seeing what's going on inside. So this is where your oil pump is. It is suggested that you take this apart and clean it fairly often because a lot of sand gets in this and then this gets so cluttered up. So you want to make sure your oil is getting any gas, right? That one's actually not that bad. We didn't clean it, or we cleaned it not that long ago. So I didn't get to take a video of it because so astonished. We took the reeds out and in one of these flaps there was a rock holding the flap open. I took pictures of it, so I'll put pictures in the video. All 
All right, so um, we're gonna put our rings on. This says top, so it's gonna be facing the top. And you have a little, I'll just hold it in there. And then we are doing the top one. All right, so you have the opening on that little nook there, and then the opening on that nook is where you wanna keep your rings. All right, so now I am going to put one of the little clips in. I tried to anyways. On one side before I put it on. Let's see. Right there. Hold on. All right, so try to get it in the little grooves there, and I push it in. So you always do one side first so it's easier when it's, instead of it being on the um the crank up here. Then we got our needle bearing. Put that little sucker right there. Line it up. And push it in there. And then we gotta put the other clip on this side. Alright, so there is your little ring. You want to grab the inside part here. That's going to bury. And when you get it in there, you want to take this little tip. There's a groove inside there. You want to hold it into the groove. Attempt number 72. What the freak, dude? It is kind of, is almost in there. So then there's... Ew, I was just kidding. That was my favorite. <laughs> I was trying to be He-Man. That didn't work. Come on, little guy. No! <laughs> Twist it. Boom. There it is. So we ordered a new cylinder. It finally came in. I put the pins, the new pins in, and then I put the uh, new gasket. See, there's a little circle thing. That opening has to stay where that circle thing is. And then there's another one on the other side that has to stay lined up like that when you're putting it inside the cylinder. All right, so I have my cylinder on. I got them on all four of those, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to align the first ring and then get that in there first when it's aligned, and then I'll go on the other side and make sure the bottom one's aligned, and then I'll try and slide it in there. I'll put a little bit of oil inside the cylinder and a little bit on the piston. Alright, so I've got the first part, the first ring on the cylinder, and then I come over here and see the second ring, how it's lined up. So now I will pinch those together and then put the cylinder on the rest of the way. I'm going to put the new metal gasket right here. Get over these little teeth here. All right, like that. And then we will get the front part. And then your front part slides on. There's a longer side that goes in the bottom and then the shorter side goes on the top. I got the four new nuts on. We're going to tighten those up and then get our spark plug in. Nice and snug on there. Make sure they're tight because you don't want any leaks. All right, so I ordered some new spark plugs. They came in. So I'm not using that off-brand name one that I had. Let's take that. Nice and snug, and then I'll tighten her up. All right, so I took the bolts from the old cylinder, put them in there. I cleaned out the gasket there. I'm not gonna change it. Just cleaned it out. And then I'm going to stick it on there. Put that together. Put 
that back together. We filled her up with 300 cc's of oil. Got this all together under here. And now we are going to start it and hopefully it works. <laughs> So Jay said the bike is running perfectly. Yep. <sighs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know a lot of stuff went wrong. Uh, <laughs> anything you could think of that went wrong changing that top end probably did. It was way harder than it should have been. Um, normally stuff is not stuck together like that rocks don't get stuck in the reeds like that i didn't have another cylinder so then i had to order one had to wait for that so basically the whole thing about me making the video moto mom mechanic school is i just want to show that you can work on the bikes i have no idea what i'm doing i never done anything with dirt bikes before this my kids just wanted to ride and we got them and then i just started learning along the way youtube is your best friend um, experimenting with the bike you're gonna mess up I've broken more things than my husband has wanted me to it's cost more money but I am hands-on and I'm able to do stuff when he's working and then it helps him out too so he's not working all day all night coming home and then has to like fix something on the bike so we can go practice or train or something I can change the oil I can do spark plugs clean carbs top ends are a little more like on the higher scale but it just try it watch them do it just get your hands in there and and have fun with it what i was doing is not perfect so don't take what i was doing on the video like to heart because i'm just winging it just backyard uh mechanic work so i i hope this helped a little bit maybe it encouraged you to try to work on the bike i'm going to try to do a couple of other videos maybe change the oil do the spark plugs um tighten the chain just little things i don't know if you want to see more of uh moto mom mechanic school just uh leave a like leave a comment let me know hope you guys enjoyed it and um i guess i'll see you on the next video bye